Hello everyone, it's Jonathan here, founder of Driving Academy. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you what's the proper way to making a turn when a car is in the way. So I'm sure you've seen it before, maybe you've been in your car already, and all of a sudden the tractor trailer is trying to make a right turn, specifically a right turn, and all of a sudden the car is actually in front of where they should be, and it's preventing this tractor trailer to make a right turn. It turns into a big mess. People start arguing with each other. They start fighting each other. They start calling each other number one, you know, kind of like read in between the lines kind of thing. You understand what I'm saying? And now all of a sudden the, the car has to back up so and then the truck can kind of keep going and the truck driver's pissed and the car's pissed and no one's happy. So I'm going to show you a way that you can avoid all that conflict and make sure everyone is safe and ready to rock and roll. So let's kind of give you a picture of how this thing looks like. So I've drawn out a diagram where it's a one-way street going into a two-way street and we're going to be making a right turn. Now. This is gonna be a tight right turn, and this would technically be the stop line that cars have to stop uh, behind. So, but say we have a situation where all of a sudden a car is right here, which happens all the time because people aren't paying attention, they don't really know how the whole trucking industry works, and all of a sudden, what happens? If a car stopped there and now it's your turn to make this turn, this is the one way, you, you're gonna have a really hard time and of course this is not the scale, you're gonna have a very hard time going through this situation without hitting this car, which means this car is gonna to have to go out of the way or back up or whatever has to be done. So if this situation happens to you during your CDL road test, it's extremely important. What you're gonna do is you wanna make sure you wait here. So if for whatever reason on your CDL road test or in real life in particular, this car is in front of this stop line, you wanna stop here at your stop line and you do not wanna move forward. Now of course the cars in behind you are gonna start honking at you, all that you want, but you have to make sure that your job is to make this turn without running over this curb. Because if you run over this curb itself with any of these tires, it's gonna be an automatic fail for the test. And in real life, you can pop a tire and if you're loaded weirdly, say you're top heavy, you can actually flip over the entire vehicle. So, now, let's say we do what we what I asked you to do. You wait till the light actually turns. Uh, you wait till the whole light turns. This car kind of gets into that position. Now all of a sudden you get lucky and the car has left there and now the car is actually behind the stop line where it's supposed to be. So that being said, what are we gonna do now? Now you have to do a proper right turn. So what does a proper right turn mean? That means you're gonna go straight until the front of your vehicle has passed the center of the intersection, as you can see here. So once your front tire has passed the center of the intersection, now it's time to turn. Now when it comes to taking your CDL road test, you can cross over any lines that you want on the street itself. So don't worry about the lines, but you definitely wanna avoid this curve at all costs, because if you just kiss the curb, it's an automatic fail. So we wanna avoid that at all costs. So you're gonna go in, into it, and then you're gonna make this turn. And if you do it correctly, you did see that I crossed over this line, no problem. I crossed over this line, no problem. This car is behind there. And bada beam, bada boom. You're looking at this mirror as you're making the turn. And then you can just head on out. And you have now completed a proper turn. Uh, and you're able to get one step closer to getting your CDL license for your road test. Or you're able to kind of keep your cool make sure that you're not getting frustrated with anybody here because you understand that you can only control what you can control. They say control the controllables. So if this guy is being an you know what and he's over the line, he doesn't really know what he's doing, he's looking at his phone, why are you gonna try to go inside, go in front of this guy and try to make this guy back up, which means now the car's behind him, gotta back up. This guy's gonna get pissed, you're gonna get pissed, and it's not gonna be fun for you, your cholesterol, or your blood pressure. So that being said, Control the controllables. If you can't control this guy, wait till he's out of the way and make this turn happen the proper way. So and then you're ready to rock and roll. Now the people behind you, so what? They're gonna be upset, but you're doing the safest thing possible for you. So if you like this quick tip, make sure you like, you click like on this video here and make sure you share it out with some of your friends. Maybe you know somebody who wants to get a CDL license. The best place that they should go and must go is gonna be the best driving school in the country, which is Driving Academy. Here we have the best training available and we're open up seven days a week, which means we can fit any kind of schedule that you're looking for. We also do offer lifetime job placement, so it's our job to help you find a job after you graduate with us. And as long as we're here to teach you, 
you're not going to be running over any curbs or anything like that. One of the cool things about our school is that we actually have a guaranteed training program. And how that works is we're going to give you 100 hours of training and then after that training is complete then we're going to take you for the road test. If you fail the test for whatever reason we'll keep taking you and keep taking until you pass and no extra cost to you. So you pay one price you walk away with the CDL license whether it's the first time, second time, fifth time. I think we got a guy going on now seven times. He might be going for the record. The ultimate record is nine tries at the test itself. So hopefully you don't beat that record. I want to see you as a one and done kind of guy and then we'll help you out. For the rest of your life. So if you're interested, give us a call 908-525-3609. All you need to get started is $500 down, like I said, or you can take a virtual school tour at cdldrivingacademy.com forward slash tour. That's cdldrivingacademy.com forward slash tour. Thanks. Have a great day. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, make sure you hit that like button. Also, subscribe to our channel. It's really going to help us out. Click on that button. And if you want to continue yourself on your road to freedom, here's more videos to watch. There's endless amounts. Hopefully we get to see each other one day very soon. Thanks.